Hey guys, Chantal here from Crystal Cleanse Soap, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about which crystals you should not be cleansing with water and the specific reasons why. So this is a simple video that I'm making to talk about the crystals that you can be cleansing with water. Now keep in mind that I'm not talking about crystals that you can make gem water or crystal infused water with. The list for crystal infused water is much longer because consumption of crystal water is much different than crystals that can be cleansed with water. Today, I'll be talking about crystals that become toxic, break down, change color, crack, or rust when they get wet. Cleansing your crystals with water is a great way to cleanse your crystals, but it's very important to know which ones should and shouldn't be cleansed with water. So I've broke this down into a few categories. So let's start off by talking about the crystals that will actually dissolve when they get wet. So first on this list, we have halite, and halite is actually a type of rock salt, so it's no surprise that putting some form of salt into water will cause it to dissolve. And next on the list, we have calcite. Calcite is actually a very soft stone that comes in several different colors. And because it's a softer stone, it will actually dissolve in water over a period of time. And next up, we have angelite. This blue colored stone with a white center is actually gypsum without water. So if you get angelite wet, it turns back into gypsum. Now once angelite converts back to gypsum when it gets wet, over a period of time, gypsum will dissolve in water. Speaking of the mineral gypsum, that takes us into our next crystal, which is actually Selenite. Selenite is actually just a crystallized version of gypsum. This crystal will absolutely dissolve in water and it's best to keep selenite away from water altogether if possible. So those were some common crystals that will actually dissolve in water. So let's move on to the next category which is which crystals will actually flake off when they come in contact with water. First on the list is mica. There are several different types of mica, so if you see something with mica in it, it probably comes from the mica crystal family. Now any crystal in the mica family will flake off and break down in water. And next up we have lipidolite. This stone is a rare lithium rich variety of mica. Lipidolite is typically pink, red, or purple. This stone can crumble and flake off in water, causing it to break down significantly. And that brings us to the last crystal on this list, which is muscovite. Just like lipidolite, it's also in the mica family. Because it's in the mica family, it's no surprise that it'll also flake off and break down in water. So we've talked about which crystals will dissolve in water and which crystals will flake off in water. So that brings us to our next category, which is what crystals will rust in water. Now these crystals typically contain iron or lead, which is the main causing factor for them to rust. So the first crystal on that list is Galena. Galena is actually 86% lead, so it's no surprise that it will start to rust when it's in water. And next on the list, we have hematite. Hematite is a very common form of iron oxide, which makes it prone to rusting. And next up, we have lodestone. This naturally magnetized crystal contains a lot of iron oxide, so it's definitely a crystal that should not be going into the water as well. And next on the list, we have tangerine quartz. This beautiful, naturally orange colored quartz gets its color from iron oxide. Because of the presence of iron oxide, it's susceptible to rusting if it does get wet. And those are the crystals that will rust when they come into contact with water. Now there is one crystal in particular that actually can crack when it comes into contact with extreme high and low water temperatures. And that crystal is opal. Opal is a crystal that can crack in extreme water temperatures. Opal is a common crystal that can crack when submerged in very high or very low water temperatures. This is definitely something to keep in mind. Now, not all opals are the same and the same quality, so when cleansing them, just cleanse them at room temperature just to play it safe. While opals can crack, it's not common for them to break. The next set of stones that I'm going to be talking about can actually break in certain water temperatures. The first stone on this list is Moldavite. This beautiful green stone will actually break when it comes into contact with hot water, so it's very important to never cleanse this stone in higher water temperatures. The next stone on this list is Obsidian. Obsidian is a naturally occurring volcanic glass that should never be cleansed in extreme water temperatures. If you cleanse this stone in temperatures that are too hot or too cold, it will cause it to break. And last on the list is Celestite. This delicate blue colored stone is quite soft and quite brittle, so you want to avoid cleansing it in water because it does increase the chances of it breaking or crumbling into pieces. While the crystals I just mentioned will dissolve, break down, crack, or rust, the next crystals I'm going to talk about will actually become toxic when they come into contact with water. The first stone on this list is Pyrite. 
This stone is also known as iron pyrite or fool's gold. When combined with water, it actually makes sulfuric acid, which can become corrosive to your skin. And the last and final crystal on this list is malachite. Not only can this crystal break in water, it's actually dangerous to get this crystal wet because it contains high amounts of copper, and therefore, when exposed to water, it can create toxic fumes. Here are a few crystals that actually lose their beautiful, naturally occurring color and fade when they come into contact with water. First up on this list is is fluorite. This beautiful multicolored stone is actually quite soft. Although a lot of people don't hesitate to rinse the stone to cleanse it, it's definitely not recommended to be left in water for long periods of time because of how soft it is. Leaving it in water for too long can actually cause it to slowly break down and lose its beautiful vibrant colors. However, in my opinion, lightly rinsing the stone definitely shouldn't cause too many problems. And last but not least, we have turquoise. This crystal is known for its beautiful turquoise color, hence the name but when met with water, it can actually cause its beautiful vibrant color to fade. So you definitely wanna to try to avoid cleansing this crystal in water at all costs. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope I was able to teach you guys about which crystals you shouldn't be cleansing in water and why. If you have any crystal related questions that you'd like answered, don't hesitate to leave them down below and I'd be happy to help you if I can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video for more.